Hello everyone. How is everyone? So welcome to this channel, Sambit PhD. My name is Sambit Praharaj. Few months back, I finished my PhD in the Netherlands. I have been already living in the Netherlands for more than seven years. And recently, few months back, I moved to Germany to start my postdoc research. If you have been following my vlogs, you already know this. Apart from sharing my experiences of doing a PhD in the Netherlands, I have done many interviews with others who got selected for doing a PhD abroad directly from India in Switzerland, France, Netherlands, Estonia, Norway, etc. So the main topic of this video is how to apply for a PhD in Europe directly from India. I will divide this video into five main parts. Uh, first of all, PhD in Europe can sound intimidating but if you follow a structured approach, then you can also apply and get selected for a PhD position in an European country. Which countries should you target? That should be the first question. In my opinion, uh, Western European countries like Netherlands, Germany, Belgium, uh, Austria, Luxembourg, uh, Nordic countries like Denmark, Norway, Sweden, Finland, Switzerland, offer you the best PhD experience research-wise and also salary-wise. Yes, you heard it right. Almost all PhDs in Europe are like a job and you get a monthly salary with all the benefits as an employee. Uh, you can check all my playlists that will be flashing on the screen where I have made interviews with people doing PhD in Switzerland who got PhD from India and France just to have an idea about the salary experience and what kind of uh, load you can expect when you do a PhD in these European countries and obviously for Netherlands always check my playlist. Uh, you can also collaborate with industrial partners along with the university. The current salary can vary somewhere roughly between 2000 to 2800 euros on hand after taxes in the countries that I mentioned above depending on which country you want to go and how expensive it is. How are the taxes there and many other factors. On a side note, Spain, Italy, Estonia and France also have a good research but the salary um, that's paid is not that sufficient uh, compared to the countries that I mentioned earlier. So second most important point, how to start the application. Because you get paid to do a PhD. So the PhD applications open all around the year whenever there is a funding uh, or a huge project is acquired by the professor. It isn't like masters or US PhD where you need to apply specifically in fall or spring. So you can apply all around the year using different country specific websites and EU based websites for whole Europe. For example, jobnorg.eu, for Norway, for Netherlands, academic transfer, uh, your access.eu for whole Europe. I will list all the websites in the video description below. Please check them out after you watch the video. Are the basic application requirements, the third point. So basically there are six basic application requirements. Number one, a well-crafted one to two page CV highlighting mainly your education, publications, research experience, if any. Um, publications also if any it's not mandatory you can check my cv video that will be flashing on the screen to know more about how to make a good academic cv second point uh, a statement of purpose or motivation letter or a cover letter of one to two pages highlighting mainly why you are the perfect fit for that phd position and how your expertise fits the position requirements this should be very short, my friends, to the point, but clear to the reader as to why they should select you for this PhD. I already have a video on my channel on how to write a motivation letter for PhD, which will be very useful. It will also flash on the screen. And all the links for these videos will be in the video description. Contact, third point, contact details of referees or recommendation letters who can vouch for your candidature and give a brief overview about you to the PhD selection committee. So your fourth point, academic transfers, uh, transcripts and certificates. Mostly for your PhD, your master's grade is very important. Uh, every position has different cutoff requirements. 
and some can be more strict uh, while some are not that rigid as per my experience any grade between 7 and 8 uh, during masters is considered quite good enough grade in most programs fifth point publications if any are not always mandatory but can give you a bonus edge if you are in a fierce competition with a large candidate pool any significant research internship experience is also worth highlighting in the cv and motivation letter if you have any sixth and final point this is also becoming optional nowadays english qualification exams like gre and toefl you need to pass a certain cutoff which varies from university to university but nowadays these are being waved off and also varies so going back to the main points of how to apply for a phd in europe from india fourth point is how can you apply after you have all this information all the application is made digitally so it's much easier nowadays uh, the application requirements will be listed on the website and there is always a deadline before which you need to complete the application online and submit it always follow the ap application specific instructions very strictly and try to like kind of craft your generic cv or motivation letter and modify it a bit so that it fits to the application requirements fifth point the final point when can i expect to hear if i am selected for a phd after i make the application will there be any interview many people ask this so there is always one or two rounds of uh, interview which helps the committee to eliminate the candidates so always remember that this is an elimination process even if they finally select one candidate or few candidates not fit for the position ideally you can hear between one or two months if you are selected for the interview after you make the application this can greatly vary depending on the country you are doing your phd for example in netherlands it is very fast uh, and it can be within a month or even two weeks but if you compare to germany or norway yeah it can be very slow and sometimes it can be two months after which you hear whether you are selected or not so finally we already finished all the five points finally the bonus points which also i have mentioned in many of the live streams and playlists but just to uh, finally before we end the video never wait to find a relevant interesting phd position on the university website or any website always search in parallel from academic websites like research gates scholar google about the works or universities you are interested in you can also go to specific university websites and search for it if you find any in that research group always it's a good idea to cold email some uh, postdocs phds uh, or professors of those universities to show your interest in their research and how you can bring in your expertise to the group if they think that your work is interesting enough then they can sometimes uh, be encouraged to contact you in future if they have an opening you never know the possibilities so my friend there's no harm in uh, trying out these kind of cold emails and finally the third bonus point always keep on applying and also building your network informally never be disappointed the more you apply the more surface area you generate the way i want to uh, compare it maximizing your chances of being selected for a phd at the end of the day it isn't about whether you are a good candidate rather it is whether you are the right fitting candidate for the requirements of that position so i hope this video helped you to get an idea about how to apply for a phd in europe from india please share this video with your friends and help each other out don't forget to smash the like button if you haven't yet subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and if you want any personal advice and want to talk with me one on one then please feel free to book an appointment in the following link in calendly and it is also in the video description below see you soon bye bye from germany